Hello and welcome to the fifth video from the series on creating your own 2D platformer game with Unity. Today on the video we'll be creating a cannon that will be shooting projectiles at our play. So first of all we'll start by dragging our projectile sprite to the scene and then resizing it to the required size we want. After that we'll add a circle collider to the and set in this to be a trigger then a rigid body 2D and setting this to kinematic then we'll add a projectile C sharp script so new script and then add by opening this in our visual studio we'll start by typing a public float and we'll call this speed then a private transform and we'll call this player after this another private vector2 which will be called target now we go to our start function and we type player equal game object dot find game object with tag and between two brackets and quotation marks we type player after that dot transform then we set our target to equal a new vector to then in the x coordinate we type player dot position dot x and in the y coordinate we type player dot position dot y now in our update function we set transform dot position equal to vector2 dot move towards and then between two brackets in the x coordinates we write transform dot position which is our start point and our end point which is target and our speed which is speed multiplied by time dot delta time sorry it's a t not a y then if transform dot position dot x becomes equal to our target dot x and transform dot position dot y becomes equal to target becomes equal to target dot y we want our projectile to be destroyed so destroy empty into brackets game object now we want to add an on trigger enter to the function in which we'll set a new if statement so if collision dot compare tag between two brackets and quotation marks player we want our player control script dot health to decrease by health decrease so minus equal health decrease 
And as we forgot to declare the variable, we'll add a public float and we call it health decrease. Then back to our if statement, and we want to destroy our projectile. Then we type destroy and between two brackets game object. And finally, the last if statement. So if our player control dot health is less than or equal to zero, we want to reset the game. And we'll do so by first of all destroying our projectile. So destroy between two brackets game object. And we want to insert a library. So using Unity engine dot scene management, which is the library that allows us to control our scenes through the script. So after destroy game object, we return and type scene manager dot load scene, and between two quotation marks and brackets, we type sample scene. We type sample scene or here we type actually the name of the scene we want to reset after that we want our player control dot coins to be reset to zero so that when the level resets our players coins returns back to zero now by saving this script We hit our play control script and here we just want to add a public static float and we'll call this health but be sure you use the same spelling as in the previous script now saving this script also and returning back to unity In our projectile, we head to the inspector and set our speed to 10 for example, and our health decrease to 10. Then we head to our player and in the tag drop down menu we select player. Now when you start the game you'll see that our projectile moves directly to our player. Now we drag our projectile and drop it in our assets and lead it from the scene. Okay, now we created a prefab which will be shot each time the cannon shoots at the player. So to create our cannon, we'll drag our cannon sprite and rotate it, set the orientation. then repositioning it into the scene. After that, we want to add a box collider. And we'll add a Canon C Sharp script. New script, and then create an add. Once it's created, open it with Visual Studio. And then we will create a public float which will call time between shots, then a private float, and we'll call this one max time between shots. Then we'll create a public game object, which is our projectile.
Now by heading to our start function, we set our max time between shots to be equal to our time between shots. Then in the update function, if max time between shots is less than or equal to zero, we want to instantiate a projectile at our transform that position at the current position of the cannon then we want to add quaternion dot identity after that we want to reset our max time between shots to be equal to time between shots else we want our max time between shots to degrees by time dot delta time saving this script and then returning back to unity we head to the inspector of our cannon and then dragging and dropping our projectile prefab to the projectile field in the inspector and setting our time between shots to for example 1 now when you play the game you'll see that Every one second, our cannon shoots a projectile directly to our player. Share. So don't forget to like, share the video, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to not miss any upcoming uploads.